bodies, they started mm -hmm. to shrink because this was going on for well over a decade and a half. So then mm. you pivot, right? And you find uh, yeah. another. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then that part dried up and then you pivot. But in 2013, I left the company that I was with for almost eight years and I bought a Remax franchise and mm -hmm. opened the brokerage company, which, you know, was a very actually difficult thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, and it's still challenging 10 years later. It's almost 10 years. It's still challenging. Um, <clears throat> it takes a lot of energy to grow. And for actually in the beginning of it, I was doing recruiting and bringing new mm -hmm. agents in. And then mm -hmm. in 2016, I was extremely disappointed. The agents mm -hmm. that I brought in weren't doing really anything. And one Not by much. one, they kept leaving. They kept leaving the I business. See. Yeah. Wow. Right, not not even me, just the business. Some of them probably left yeah. me too, um, mm -hmm. but they left the industry. And I said I have to get back into selling full time because mm -hmm. otherwise the ship's going down. I know. Yes, yes, yes. So in to. seventeen, I started getting back into selling full time. And then my listing partner, Dara and I and Lisa and a couple other folks, we were closing a couple hundred units a year, which is a very small meeting. Me, meeting um, me, so sorry. Just a very, a very small amount of people. Uh, and then during pandemic, I decided that I wanted to grow the company again. So here we go again. Trying wow. To grow the so last four years have been real big focus for your next growth. Yeah. Yes. And it's hard. Wow. Mm -hmm. Right. It's challenging to get people it to is. do what they need to do um, to be successful.